In this video, we're going to discuss how to make the biped walk. And this is pretty, pretty simple. Go to your motion tab. Oops, go select the biped. Make sure I selected that. Okay. Make sure you select that triangle to get to be able to see your biped. Actually, I can zoom in on this one. Okay, so um, we are in the motion tab and we're going to put our biped in motion. We're going to come down over here under biped mode and we discussed figure mode and now we're going to discuss footstep mode and I'm going to click on footstep mode and you're going to see things change as they, they tend to do. And I want to go over here to create, whoops, create multiple footsteps, right? You can create one, um, but I'm going to create multiple. But before I do though, you can make your bi biped walk, run, or jump. We're just going to start with walk. And I'm going to hit create multiple footsteps. And I get this dialog box. Start with my left foot or my right foot. And then do I want to alternate feet? Because you can make the biped. Um, oh, it's not letting me uncheck it. That's interesting. It's going to alternate. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes have you ever done where you take a step forward and with your right foot and then your left foot meets that? And then you step forward the right foot and your left foot meets that? thought we could do that, but alternate's uncheckable. Okay, so we're going to start with our left foot and then we'll alternate. How many footsteps? Let's just go ahead and so we get a, a, a long walk cycle here. Let's just do 10. Um, parametric stride went, went, width is 1. Actual stride width is based on the default of the biped I created. Uh, auto timing. At current uh, frame. These are all the defaults. These are all fine. Let's see. I just want to make sure there's not anything that we need to change. It just sort of, it defaults all these for you and it usually does a pretty good job. Now, if you wanted to do something else, you can come in and modify these. Um, but for, for getting started, let's just use the defaults. Okay. And it's created, you can see, 10 footsteps. And it starts with zero, not one. It's numbered them for me. And they go 0, 1, and it's, those are the, the first footsteps. So in this case, it's actually only going to take, in addition to where it's standing, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 footsteps. So if I really wanted it to take 10, I have to put in 12. So always add 2 to whatever it is you actually want it to do. Here's the cool part <laughs> before we get going. You can move these guys. Um, <laughs> let's see. How... What do I want to do with this? Um, you can move them further apart, for instance. Um, you can move them this way. So he's going to take a, a larger step. If you want somebody to step over something, we're going to do that. You can move those further apart like that. So say there's an object, and we'll just put a... We'll put a... a pretend it's a bunch of Legos. Whoops. That's kind of, kind of big for Lego, isn't it? There's a bunch of Legos on the floor, and I wanted to step over them because I don't know if y'all have ever stepped on Legos, but you don't you don't want to do that again. And I could spend a whole bunch of time doing this, but we'll just just enough to make a point. Okay, so we got our river of Legos. He's going to step over. You can curve the path by applying a bend modifier. Whoops. Oh, it's not selecting. Did I not select the footsteps? Nope, it's only taking the box. Okay. All right, you can curve them by doing this. Rotation. I believe there's actually a curve in the in the thing. Hang on. Before you do that, let's go back to my motion tab. Oh, you got to click on him. There we go. Back into the footstep mode. You can bend it. Here we go. Here's where you bend the, the footsteps. 
All right, so we now have the footsteps set up. Oh, and you can also raise them. One last thing. You can also raise them. Uh, let's do that next. Let's do that after this. Okay, so let's go with... We got everything here, and... It's adjusted the number of keyframes that we have down here so that we can continue this. Um, we had 100, but it reset it to 160 so that we can continue the steps. Did that for us automatically, which is pretty cool. And now we need to come down here to footstep operations. This, this is the first button and it's called create keys for inactive footsteps. And that doesn't, that sounds counterintuitive to what we're doing. We're actually creating, creating the footsteps. But that is the button you want to push to get him to walk. And watch what happens when I hit it. Ah, it's articulated him. Okay, so you ready? Now we're going to come down here. Zoom in a little bit. And he's going to walk. <laughs> and step over the Legos. <laughs> okay, and then just keep repeating itself, obviously. And look at the arms. It, they, you know, they've got it so that you can, the arms swing just like the arms swing. And that's why I like to start off with a biped to help you guys see that. You know. Okay, so stop that. All right, so let's pretend the Legos aren't there anymore. Oh, I'm still in this mode. I gotta get out. Sorry, I'm still in footstep mode. All right, I'm gonna remove the Legos because I want to show you. You can make them climb stairs. Oh, I gotta get back in footstep mode. Sorry. by lifting them up in elevation. Let's move those back over. Just keep raising them up. And I tell people, always make sure you give them some time to walk up to the stairs, climb the stairs, and then walk past the stairs. Um, I wouldn't, like, immediate. well, I don't know, you may have a need where you immediately have them walking up, but usually in animation we want to we wanna bring the character into the situation, up the stairs, and away from the situation. So, okay, so now I'll climb the stairs. some weird stuff going on there um, and it was because I should have done this before I told it to create keys for inactive footsteps and it's just because it's 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 set where those keys haven't been down so make sure you put your footsteps wherever you want to put them first before you hit that footstep operation I'm gonna reset this Cause I'm gonna show you how to bend them. Okay, bump head, motion tab, footstep mode, create multiple footsteps. Oh, let's do run. Oh, actually, let's do jump. Cause run, you know what run is. Jump. Okay, create multiple footsteps. Uh, let's, let's do, whoops, not quite that many. Let's just do 20 for now. Okay. And you're going to see that. And it again adjusted my timeline down here to 185 frames so that it would work. And then airborne. That's for how long is he airborne? So 15, 
is the rate if you want it to go longer. How long longer he's airborne, you increase that number. Just go with 15 for now. And then here's bend, watch. So you can make him jump like that in a, in a, in a bend. Okay? So we'll do that. You can also move one of these so that he jumps on top of. On top of an object. I could put an object under there. So he can, as he's jumping, he can jump on an object and off the object. Okay? So you want to set your feet, your footsteps up first. Then come down here, footstep operations, and create keys for inactive steps. And now... He jumped up, jumped down, jump, 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 jump. Now. I think it might not let me adjust it now. Let's go, to go back to a create multiple frame. Yeah, we can adjust it here. So say I wanted to make this less you can control stride length and it will oh it added on okay so it didn't edit it it added on Deactivate footsteps and then create keys for inactive footsteps. You can delete them, you can copy them. Okay, so I always deactivate and then reactivate, otherwise, it does strange things. So now he's going to jump a little further here. And the new, the new ones are closer together because I changed, made a change to the stride length. I thought he was jumping too far apart. So now he's going to still continue to jump kind of wide, but then when he gets here, he's not jumping as wide. To me, that looks a little more normal jump, so it kind of looks like a gazelle, but... So if you decide you, you've, you know, you've created these and you don't like them, you can delete them. Let's stop this and do the, redo them again. See, just deleted that last set. Can also just select them and delete them, but I'm not going to. No, actually, let's just delete them. We still have those. And you see what happens when you do that. Most of the time you don't want to just randomly delete things. Um, if anywhere possible where you have the opportunity in here to remove um, information, you want to do that. Okay? And so that's how you can get your biped to walk. And we're going to talk about motion captures in the next video.